Hello, this is Peter Newman. I have some uh, bones in space claim, and uh, we're going to look at taking these faceted solid bodies which came from STL and uh, smoothing them out a bit and uh, seeing if we can improve the um, ability to mesh them. We don't want to do all the bones, so I've got a single bone in this file. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to look at some of the tools available in Space Claim. And uh, this is a solid, but it came from an STL file. So we're going to go back using the Facets tab and convert this solid back into an STL. And uh, the icon changed, and so we can tell it's now a facet body. So all these facet tools work on it. First tool is always to check facets, but because it came from a solid body, uh, generally it's going to be good. But here we are told it has multiple pieces, and that's because uh, it has hollow spots inside. So the separate all button will uh, separate out the hollow parts on the inside from the uh, outer face. So we'll uh, spend a bit of time on the outer face, and if we check the facets there, it's perfect, <coughs> as it should be if it came from a solid. And one of the tools we'll use is shrink wrap, and uh, shrink wrap can operate on a solid and um, on, on a facet body and smooth it out as if wrapping it in plastic wrap. So that has smoothed it out quite nicely. And so we go back to the select tool to do other things. <clears throat> Another thing is in the tools menu, and that's auto skin, which puts geometry on bodies. And so um, it just uh, took that and made uh, this what's called a patch body, which is geometry. And unfortunately it did not give us a completely closed volume, uh, there's a gap in there. Um, and if we look really closely, um, one of the faces is very poorly formed, this face here. If we go back to the select tool, this face here is all messed up. And so it would be best to just hit the delete key and get rid of it. And we might also look at another face, and uh, this, this face, it's, it's got a little bit of uh, dips and things. It, it might be best just to get rid of both faces. <clears throat> so now we have um, a gap, but it might be easier to fix that gap after we do some trimming, and there's a, an ability to trim using planes and so we can create a plane. Maybe we can create a plane. Uh, and planes can be moved around pretty easily. So uh, let's maybe just turn the body back on and hide these for a second. <coughs> let's uh, find a, a facet like this one to make a plane on. And now we can hide the facet body and turn on the geometry. And we'll, uh, we'll get that plane with the move tool. And we'll just click the move tool, click here. And we want to get that plane sort of swung around till it lines up a little better with that um, gap. So continuing to uh, just tweak on the, on the uh, plane until it... Uh, but that's not a bad alignment, so uh, we just slide it up close to where things go badly. And we might tilt the plane over just a little more, like this. And if we, if we want, we can move it a little closer in. And what we want is a plane that uh, is not past this point where things go wrong 
and that's a good plane. So now if we pick this plane and hold the control key down, we can move it to the other side and just right about there. So those two planes are planes we can use to clean up the edges. Uh, and so we'll do split body and we'll split this body with this plane and delete those pieces. And then we'll split this body with that plane, delete those pieces. And so this is a much easier um, piece of geometry to try to join up than the mess we had. So we'll see if uh, some of the other tools like blend can cross that gap. So if we use the um, select tool and select those edges with a double click and then control key, double click to select those edges. Let's see if the simple blend tool can uh, cross that gap. And it looks like it did. And as soon as you have a um, complete outer boundary, it automatically turns back into a solid. And so this is a solid body that uh, is maybe uh, nicer to mesh than all those facets that we had. And that is um, one lesson in using space claim on STL geometry. Thanks for watching.